In this video, we're going to add a calculated item to a pivot table, and then we'll see a problem that's created when you do that, and how you can solve that problem. Here's the pivot table. We have a category field, and there are four categories that we're selling. We have two regions where we sell the products, and then there are cities listed for each of the regions. Instead of showing all four categories, I would like to combine the bars and cookies into one category called sweets and then leave crackers and snacks to show separately. To do that, I'm going to first hide these two categories. So going up to the category dropdown, I'll remove the check marks for bars and cookies. To add the calculated item, I'm going to click one of the item headings. Then on the ribbon, go over to Analyze, which is under the Pivot Tools, Click Fields, Items, and Sets, and that will be a different heading if you're in Excel 2010 or 2007. Click Calculated Item, and then we can name our new calculated item, so we'll call this Sweets. And our formula is going to be adding the two categories, Cookies and Bars. So for the fields, it's Selected Category, and here are the items. So I'll type an equal sign to start the formula, then I'll double click on bars, type a plus sign, and then double click on cookies. And it won't affect anything if you have spaces or no spaces between these different items in the formula. When I click OK, it puts in sweets and it shows the correct total. But the problem is when you create a calculated item, it combines all of the possibilities. So it combines every city with suites and then lists that. So in the east, we shouldn't be seeing Los Angeles, but because we have a calculated item, it appears in that region. And to get rid of this problem, we can hide any of the cities where there's a zero total. Click this arrow for city, and go to value filters, and does not equal, so here's quantity, does not equal, and in this box I'll type a zero. And click OK, and now it's hidden all those cities where there were no sales because that city is not in that region. So now that we've hidden all those zeros, if I look at this pivot table and decide I don't want to see New York, I can come back up to this city list, click the filter arrow, Remove the check mark for New York and click OK. So it took out New York, but the side effect is that it put back all those zeros that we filtered just a minute ago. There are three different kinds of filters in a pivot table. There are label filters. So we could say we only want labels that start with a B. There are value filters, and that's what we use to get rid of the zeros. And there are manual filters where you can check or uncheck items. If you want to use more than one type of filter, so if we want to be able to uncheck New York, but keep that value filter that we applied, we're going to have to change a setting in the pivot table. So I'll click Cancel here. I'm going to undo that New York filter, and that puts back our filter that took out the zero values. And to allow multiple filters, so one of each kind of filter, I'm going to right click on the pivot table and click Pivot Table Options. Click the Totals and Filters tab, and under Filters, we want to allow multiple filters per field. And click OK. And now that we've changed that setting in the pivot table, we're able to apply more than one kind of filter. So we can't apply two value filters, but we can apply a value filter and a manual filter. So I'll go back in here, uncheck New York, click OK. It removed New York and it kept that value filter that we have that hides our zero values. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.